Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is the arithmetic mean of the scores of a group of students in a test was 52. The brightest 20% of them required a mean score of 80 and the dullest 25% a mean score of 31. Find the mean score of remaining 55%. So what is the given question? The arithmetic mean of the scores of a group of students is given. It is 52. What is the number of students is not given? Only the arithmetic mean is given. The arithmetic mean is same as average. So, average of a group of students is given. So, average is equal to 52. So, 52 is the average that is given. And what is the other information given? It is given that the brightest 20 percentage of them has equated a mean score of 80. So, the mean of the 20 percentage the brightest 20 percentage mean is given and the dullest 25 percentage mean is also given it is 31 so you have to find out the mean of the remaining 55 percentage those who are not bright those who are neither bright nor dull so the remaining 55 percentage what is the mean score so how to do this the mean of the entire class is given the mean of the brightest 20 percentage is given the mean of the dullest 25 percentage is given and also the average of the rest of the 55 percentage is what we have to find out. So, since everything is given as percentage, let us assume that the number of students is equal to 100. So, that is our assume, assumption here. We are assuming or we are taking the number of students is equal to 100. So, our calculation will be very easy. And we are permitted to do so because everything is given as percentage. The formula will be correct. Once we write the formula, it becomes correct. Everything is given as percentage. So, we can take the number of students is equal to 100. So, what is the formula? 20 percentage, that is 20 students. 20 students mean is equal to 80. So, what is the total of these 20 students? 20 into 80. Number of students is equal to 20 and the mean is equal to 80. So, the total of these 20 students is equal to 20 into 80 plus we are trying to write the entire total. So, in the what, what about 25 percentage? 25 percentage means number of students is equal to 25. 25 percentage of 100. 25 by 100 into 100 is equal to 25. So, 25 into 31 will give us the total mark of the 25 students. Then let us assume this is equal to x. x is the mean of the remaining 55 percentage students. That means for the remaining 55 students average is equal to x. So, 55 into x. The whole divided by what is the total number of students? 100. It is given as 52. 52 is the total average. It is already given in the question. So, we can write the formula 20 into 80 plus 25 into 31 plus 55 x divided by 100 is equal to 52. So, what we will be getting? 5200, 50, 52 into 100, we are multiplying 52 into 100 will be equal to 1600 plus what is 25 into 31? It will be 775 plus 55 x. So, from that we will be getting 55 x will be equal to 2825, 5200 minus 1600 minus 775. So, it implies that our x will be equal to 2825 divided by 55 which gives us 51.4. So, it will be equal to 51.4 percentage. Our answer will also be in percentage only. So, the mean score will be 51.4 percentage. When the number of students is equal to 100, we can say the average of the remaining 55 students will be equal to 51.4. So, we have to write it as 51.4 percentage. Question number 2. Find the average of 3, three, three raised to 30, 3 to the power of 60 and 3 to the power of 90. So, we have to find out what is the average of 3 raised to 30 then 3 raised to 60 and 3 raised to 90. What is the average in normal case? Normal case the average will be equal to the total divided by number of observations. So, here what will be the total 3 raised to 30 plus 3 raised to 60 plus 
3 raised to 90 the whole divided by 3 3 is the total number of observations the total is 1 2 and 3 so 3 raised to 30 plus 3 raised to 60 plus 3 raised to 90 the whole divided by 3 which gives us 3 raised to 29 so this we can split up and write 3 raised to 30 by 3 plus 3 raised to 60 by 3 plus 3 raised to 90 by 3 which gives us 3 raised to 29 plus 3 raised to 59 plus 3 raised to 89. So, this will be our answer. So, first we, when we see the question we become a little confused but it is as simple as that just write the formula for finding the average. Okay, question number 3. 5 MPs of a team are weighed consecutively and their average weight calculated after each member is weighed. If the average weight increases by 1 each time, how much heavier is the last player than the first one? So, what is the given question? So, there are 5 MPs of a team. So, there are 5 MPs. Okay. So, what is done? First, the first member will be weighed. The weight of the first member will be found. Then, average will be found. After that, the second member also will be added. So, the weight of the first two members will be found. Then, the weight of the first three members will be found. Then, the weight of the uh, four members and then the weight of all the five members will be found. An average will be taken for each time. Okay. So, let the weight of the first member be x. Okay. So, first the average will be x. Then after that, x and y will be weighed. So, x plus y divided by 2 will be taken and then we will be find, finding out the new average. So, every time we can say that the average will be increasing by 1 each time. So, first x plus y divided by 2 will be equal to x plus 1. x is the first average. When only one member is there, the average and the weight everything will be same x. So, x plus x will be the average in the first case. Okay, when only one member is there, x is the average and let the weight of the second member be equal to y. So, what will be the average in the case of two persons? It will be equal to x plus y divided by 2 which gives us x plus y divided by 2 is equal to x plus 1. Okay, so, we have to solve this formula in order to find our answer but let me explain the question some more. So, let the weight of the third person be equal to z. So, z will be giving us x plus y plus z divided by 3 will be equal to x plus 2. x plus 1 was the average in the previous case of the two persons. So, for the three persons the average will be again increasing by 1. So, x plus y plus z by 3 will be giving us x plus 2. Then if this is p means then we will be getting x plus y plus z plus p divided by 3 will be equal to x plus 3 again increasing by 1. The average is again increasing by 1 and also in the case of fifth member also same, case, same way. If this is q means x plus y plus z plus p plus q divided by or oh, this is, this will be 4 ok sorry but divided by 5 will be equal to x plus 4. So, this way the average will be increasing by 1 every time. So, as soon as a new member is getting added the weight of a new member is getting added to the weight of the previous one and the average taken the average is getting increased by 1 each time. So, you have to find out what is the difference between the weights of the first player and the last player. Okay, so, this is the formula. If we solve this formula, we will be getting an idea. So, x plus y divided by 2 is equal to x plus 1. y is the weight of the second member and x is the weight of the first member. So, we will be getting x plus y is equal to 2x plus 2 which gives us x is equal to y minus 2 or we can say y is equal to x plus 2. So, what is the meaning of that? The weight of the second member and the weight of the first member will be differing by 2. Then only our formula will be becoming correct. The average is getting increased by 1. So, it means that if the first person's weight is x, the second person's weight should be x plus 2. So, the third person's weight should be equal to x plus 4. And the fourth person will be x plus 6. And the last person will be having a weight of x plus 8. So, what is the difference between the first and the last member's weight? The weight difference will be equal to 8. So, this way we can find out the, we are understanding the concept here. What is the relation between the weight of the first member and the weight of the second member if the situation should be like this. That means, as, as soon as a new member is getting added, the new average becomes 
1 greater than the previous average. So, x plus y divided by 2 will be giving us x plus 1, where x is the previous average or in the case of 1 person, the average is same as the weight of the 1 person. So, we average is equal to x. So, x plus y divided by 2 is equal to x plus 1. From that, we will be getting y is equal to x plus 2. Or the second person's weight will be 2 greater than the first person's weight. So, the situation will be same for the remaining persons also. So, the weight will be x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6 and x plus 8. And if you are checking for each time, you can see that the average will be getting increased by 1. If you want, you can check for 3 members. 3 members average will be equal to 3x plus 6 divided by 3 which gives us x plus 2. So, our formula became correct. First case, average is equal to x plus 1 for 2 persons and for 3 persons, average is equal to x plus 2. So, our formula is correct. x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6 and x plus 8 are the weights and then the difference between the first person's weight and the last person's weight will be equal to 8.